Okay, Cupcake, say ah. Ah. Ugh. Were they actually feeding each other? Seriously? How was I meant to concentrate on the movie with them doing that? Ugh, gross. Annoyed, I stood up, tipped my bucket of popcorn on their heads, then walked off. Don't panic. I'm not a crazy person. They weren't some random couple. Nope. I know them. The girl, Shelly, she's my best friend. For as long as I can remember, it was just me and her. Best friends against the world. But then one day, this guy, Leon, showed up out of nowhere, and boom, they started dating. Do you know what the worst thing was? This Leon guy was two years younger than me. He was so immature. Seriously. Every time I made plans with Shelly, he tagged along too. Suddenly, my phone rang. It was Shelly. I rolled my eyes as I answered, knowing she'd be furious. Peter, how could you? I keep finding popcorn in my hair. It's gross. You're so childish. Yeah, yeah, whatever. She was the one who turned me into a third wheel for our scheduled movie night. I ended the call. I was done talking to her. That's when I saw the news article pop up on my phone. There was a weather warning for a freak magnetic storm. It was advising everyone to stay at home and turn all technological devices off. Well, that was fine by me. It's not like I wanted to stay out anymore anyway. So I went home and went straight to sleep. The next morning, I woke up and, huh? Why was my dad sitting at the end of my bed? I rubbed my eyes and asked him what was up. He seemed lost in thought, but then he put his hand on my shoulder and said, Nothing, son. If you feel like you want to talk, I'm here for you. I understand. Then he left my room. Huh? What was that all about? I went downstairs for breakfast. That's when I heard my granny say, I will prove to you guys that he's not. Then I heard Dad say, Mother, it's no big deal. Even if it's true, he's still our Peter. But when I walked into the kitchen, they all fell silent and gawped at me. I said, um, hey, you guys, what's the topic? Then my mom replied while passing me a plate of pancakes. Nothing, son. Even my younger sister, Lena, was acting strange. She gave me this weird smile, then shook her head. Okay, this was odd, but I just shrugged it off and ate my breakfast. Afterward, mom asked me to help her out in the rock garden. Yeah, sure, I mean, it's not like I had anything better to do. Now, let me tell you, those rocks are way heavier than they look. As I struggled to carry one, I puffed out to mom, Where do you want this? It's so heavy. <laughs> can you call out dad to help? Shaking her head, she said, No, you can do it. You're not a weak boy. Then she continued to direct me to carry the pile of rocks all over the garden. I carried on until I had jelly arms and couldn't manage it anymore. I told mom I needed to take a break and began to head inside. She shouted after me, no, you can do it by yourself. You're a big, strong boy. I didn't get it. Why couldn't she see that I was exhausted? That's when I spotted Shelly peering at me over the fence. She smiled and waved me over. Hang on. Wasn't she still in a mood with me? So what had changed? Whatever. I needed to escape mom, so I went over to her. She apologized for yesterday, then asked me if I wanted to go shopping. I agreed. Anything to get me out of lugging more rocks about. As I walked over to Shelly's car, I spotted my neighbor standing outside of his house. I smiled over at him, but he gave me this odd look, then started giggling. I quickly looked down at my pants. Nope, I hadn't forgotten to do my zip up, so why was he laughing at me? I was thinking about how weird everyone was being as I got into the car. Then I thought out loud, maybe it's the storm? It sent everyone bonkers. Then I told Shelly about all of the crazy things that had been going on. She nodded and said, yeah, it must be down to the storm. Hmm, well, it didn't make sense, because I'd read about magnetic storms and how they could impact people's moods and stuff. At the mall, we went into a shop, and I helped her choose some clothes to try on. I picked up a purple dress and told her it was a lovely color, when suddenly my granny jumped up out of nowhere and said, No, you don't love it. Follow me. I'll get you some new clothes. Then, before I could work out what was going on, she was pulling me out of the shop. I was so confused. Granny, why are you here? Did you follow me? She smiled up at me and replied, Peter, darling, don't blame me for wanting the best for you. Huh? This was strange, but okay. 
I was about to get new clothes, so I didn't think I needed to question more about it. We ended up in this vintage shop, and I felt like I'd stepped into a time loop. All the items were from the 80s or even older. She started grabbing items off the rails and saying things like, Ooh, I like this one. And you'll look very handsome in this. This wasn't my style, but Granny looked so excited, and I didn't want to hurt her feelings. So yeah, I ended up trying the clothes on. I looked ridiculous. Granny seemed delighted. She gasped, clapped, and exclaimed, Oh my, you're such a handsome boy, while Shelly was trying her hardest not to laugh. After that, we all went home, and yep, I was wearing the funny outfit. Everyone was pointing and laughing at me, but Granny seemed oblivious to this. She just smiled and said, All the girls will fall for you now. <laughs> yeah, right. I doubt it. Later on, I was in my room minding my own business when my phone beeped. Hey, I go to the same college as you. I saw you yesterday and I like your style. Do you want to hang out sometime? Lily, X. Huh? Was this someone's idea of a joke? I didn't know this number, nor this Lily girl. What was going on? The magnetic storm had sent everyone loopy, and I seemed the only sane one left. I immediately texted back that I wasn't interested, but geez, this girl was stubborn, and she wouldn't stop messaging me. Over the next few days, Granny's bizarre behavior continued. It was stressing me out. She kept giving odd looks in my direction and muttering stuff to Mom about me. But then one time she actually followed me when I was on my way to the shop and asked me why I wasn't in the outfit she'd bought for me. When I told her it was in the wash, she looked upset, shook her head, and mumbled out something about how I'd never find a nice young lady in my scruffy clothes. I tried messaging Shelly about it, but you guessed it, she was too busy with Leon to talk. So, in my loneliness, I turned to Lily. She was really sweet and said that my granny was probably just having an old people crisis as the same thing happened with her gram, and that we should meet in the park and discuss it. I agreed to meet her, and while I was waiting for her to show up, this guy with movie star looks walked over. At first, I thought he was going to ask me for directions or something, but then he said in a flirty voice, Hey, you're on time. Then before I could say anything, he continued, It's me, Lily. Um, what was going on? This was insane. I asked him, Okay, so what game are you playing at? He looked confused, then shook his head and said, well, I just want to hang out with you. Then he came closer to me and leaned on my shoulder. I pushed him away and stepped back. Oh no, I'm not gay. He frowned at me, then shouted out, What? You are. Everyone knows that you are. I stood there feeling puzzled, when who should show up but my sister Lena. I asked her, What the hell are you doing here? With a Cheshire cat grin on her face, she said, Just testing out if you're gay or not. And I have the answer. You're not. Now I'll have to tell Mom and Granny. Then she pulled out her phone. I grabbed her hand and said, Hold on. What? Gay? Who said that? What's going on? I'm talking about the rumor. A couple of days ago, the neighbor told Mom that you're gay. Dad was cool about it, but Mom and Granny didn't take it well. Anyway, I told them I'd find out for sure. At first, I thought you were because you weren't interested in Lily, but now... She looked at the guy. My friend Robbie confirmed you're not. Okay, this was crazy. But where did this rumor come from? I asked my sister and she replied, Oh, they heard it from Leon. Leon? Hmm. This was suspicious. So I went over to Shelley's for answers. As soon as she opened the door, I rose my eyebrow and asked her, So, Shelly, everyone thinks I'm gay, and apparently it's down to something Leon said. Would you happen to know anything about this? She blushed. Peter, I'm sorry. Leon was so jealous of you that I ended up telling him you were gay, just so he'd be cool with us hanging out. I gritted my teeth in anger, then yelled, I can't believe you ruined our friendship over that guy. So you'd rather spread wrong rumors about me than put some actual sense into your ridiculous boyfriend's head? You're so selfish. Well then, go live happily ever after with him as you wish. I'll stay out of your way. Then I hurried off. Later, she tried to call me, but I just turned off my phone. 
The next morning, I woke up and checked my social media to see a notification from Shelly pop right up. She had written a long post to tell everyone the truth and to apologize to me. Perplexed, I came downstairs to grab breakfast while considering if I should forgive her. Then I saw sitting in the living room was Shelly. Mom said she'd come over since early morning to apologize to me and my family. Come, dear, she knows what she did wrong, Mom whispered to me before leaving us two alone. Shelly came right up to me. Peter, I'm really sorry for being a jerk. You're my best friend, and Leon will just have to like it or lump it. I can get another boyfriend, but I never want to lose a friend like you. She spread out her arms. I hesitated. Then we eventually hugged it out. So, Shelly and I are best friends again. My family, well, they're back to normal levels of craziness. Yeah, it wasn't cool of Shelly to start a rumor about me, but so what if it turned out I was gay? I've told Granny and Mom this. I guess they're both just old-fashioned and need to get with the times a bit more and realize that it doesn't matter if I like girls or boys, as either way, I'm still me. They're same old Peter. At the end of the day, yep, I'm that guy who thought that the magnetic storm turned everyone crazy. One thing's for sure, Shelly will never let me forget this.